We are in the shop this morning. I've got a 2013 Ford Focus. I'm going to put an ignition in. This was an all-keys lost car here a couple months ago. And even with the new key factory cut back to factory original, uh, I'll show you here in a minute. You just have to shake the tar out of it to get it to turn. Uh, so we're going to put in a new ignition, take the steering column apart, get the old one out. All righty, hopefully you can see here we get the key in the ignition. It actually goes in too far. It won't turn. you got to settle it into the grooves and then shake the tar out of it to get the car to turn on. Once it's on, everything works fine, but it does absolutely need a new ignition. All right, I went to remove the clamshell and I moved the steering column and I noticed this this is where you move the steering column this lever here I guess that down will probably be better and I noticed this giant opening here if I can get in the light that button with the switch on is going to be if I can find my pointer here that button right there if we push that with the key on the whole ignition should slide right out so I'm going to do that and then we'll take it apart and see what's wrong with it all right, I got the ignition out here. Here's the button, and with the key off, it will not press. And if I can get it on, so that's on position. Now the button will press, and that's what allowed the ignition to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this guy, see if we can figure out what the problem is. All right, it's kind of exactly what I thought. Um, here's all the tumblers, top and bottom. There's 10 total. And right there's the sweet spot, or pretty close to the sweet spot, where all the tumblers are flush, top and bottom. When you push the key in all the way, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but right there is too tall. That guy's too tall. Like you say the key's just going in a little too far. Let me pull it out a couple notches, and you can see this is what it looks like inside of there when the key's not in it, or if the wrong key's in it. And then as you push it in all that smooths up which allows it to turn all righty it's the next day i've gone over and picked up the the new ignition uh, this is what comes in the box there's five depths of wafer and there's both the right and a left wafer and a little bag of parts and then of course the main components so i'm going to get these all sorted out here and get the camera set up i'll start putting the wafers in the in the lock here and we'll get it all back together and back in the car and hopefully everything goes smoothly all right we got all of our tumblers all of our springs laid out here all of our parts we are going to start putting this guy back together i'm going to go one tumbler at a time in that direction that way i can put the key in as we go and it'll hold the tumblers in place uh, I'll probably speed all of this up and then get back with you when it's all together. All right, we're all back together here. And as you can see, with the new ignition when the key's in all the way everything lines up like it's supposed to so i'm going to lube everything up and get it all put back together we are all back together uh, of course put the key in all the way everything turns smoothly every time no catching so we're gonna get this back in the car and get it back to the customer all right moment of truth key goes in turns smooth car fires thanks for watching guys